Welcome back to Natalie and I's first apartment. Well, complex that is. So awesome is that the same church where I received mentorship counseling, they actually have a Hurricane Harvey drop-off location. So we're gonna go ahead and follow these signs up and I got my whole car full of good action. Clothes that were destined for people at Goodwill, but hurricane people need it a little bit more right now. That's awesome, a whole tent full of goodies. Sorry about the AC if it's whipping in here. Well, bad news. Unfortunately, because of complications after Katrina, they're no longer accepting used clothes at this drop-off location. The Salvation Army is, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna hoard all the clothes until everyone's back in their homes, and then they're gonna distribute the clothes. It's kind of a bummer. I think they're only allowing new clothes at this drop-off, or I'm not really sure. Anyway, and you're like, what in the world? Who doesn't take clothes? It's for a good, uh, good cause. Well, I was wondering the same thing, but he said what was happening during Katrina is that they just they had so many clothes and not enough like actual like water and food they were bulldozing everyone's donations like in big pits and landfills and they probably used some but a lot of it went to waste and so I guess they're very limited on truck space that's going out to uh, Florida and Texas so hey teach their own I'll give it to Salvation Army Salvation Army will hoard it all and then they'll go ahead and distribute it at the uh, proper time Folks, we still have not rented out the bike shop yet with a GameStop. Bummer. Let's proceed. All right, folks, you guys said donate at Salvation Army instead of Goodwill. I'm listening to you guys. There's an actual Salvation Army church here where you can actually drop off stuff as well. Beautiful facility right next door to our old neighborhood, and I had no idea. Cool. We found it. <laughs> Before we saw the little file folder thingamabobber, that was actually a bike rack for the back of like a hatchback. And there were a lot of ants, so I didn't bother digging through any of that stuff, kind of nasty. We'll go ahead and move along. <laughs> Folks, you gotta shake the box. You at least have to shake the box. You never know if their old one is inside of the new one. So, worth shaking a box. What do you think, folks? You think that LG right there is a plasma or is that DLP? Looks like a 42 inch. And that, my friends, is an LCD or a plasma. Oh, actually, that looks a little bit bigger than a 42. Let's definitely take a little gander at this. Let's go forward a little bit, though. Whoa, Ikea as well. That's a score. And we got, oh my goodness gracious, it's the nice Ikea, too. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to get some footage here. Hold on one second, folks.
take it? Did you take it? Did you take the 42 inch LG TV, Chris? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can't see that behind me. The Fiat 500e takes down the 42 inch, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> takes up the whole backspace. <laughs> but I got it in here, baby, with the door closed. That's how we do business. Now, do I need another 42 inch TV? Absolutely not. What I probably will do is I will probably, well, you always could use an extra TV. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've given so many away. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna give it away or I'm gonna, uh, that thing's probably worth Craigslist, fully functional, no remote, did come with the cord, fully functional. Man, I don't know. Probably you could fetch easily 90 bucks on Craigslist. You know, is that worth it? I could probably make someone a little bit happier by just giving it to them. So that's what, I mean, obviously loco, you know what I'm saying? Like not local, loco, no, local, not local, because the shipping on that would be like, the shipping on that would be like 250 to like even the next state. And then the TV is probably only worth like a hundred bucks. So I don't know, I might use it as a computer monitor in the man cave. Who knows, the sky's the limit. Until then, we go to the next complex. Maybe I should sell it to pay my electric bill this month. I'll tell you what, we find a bigger one here, we'll huck this one and get the bigger one. Folks, we got an aisleway full of action. Let's go around the other side, park it and check it out. These are one of my favorites. Ooh, what is that? It's a fax or printer, copy or blender on top of, ooh, with a phone. Hold on, let's get out. Pretty sweet little haul to finish the night off with, I'll tell you what.